Are you looking for a wireless mechanical keyboard that doesn't take up as much space as one of these, but you also don't want to give up your numpad like one of these? Well, today we've got the Royal Kluge RK100 and RK100 RGB. Let's see what's in the box. Inside the box, you get the keyboard, a USB-A to USB-C cable, a keycap puller, a switch puller, and a couple of extra switches. The RK100 is a 96% keyboard and contains basically all of the keys of a full-size keyboard in a smaller form factor. They both have PBT keycaps, Gateron switches in a variety of flavors, and feature hot swap sockets, meaning you can put in just about any 5-pin switch on the market without having to do any soldering. There's also a nice indicator section near the spacebar that will let you know when the caps lock or num lock is on. It also displays which mode you're in, Mac or Windows, and it has a handy charge light indicator. There are also three ways to connect, including Bluetooth, a 2.4 GHz wireless dongle, which has its own magnetic storage spot on the back, and wired via USB-C, which adds a two-port USB hub. Both models are listed at $90, but can be currently bought for around $80 on Amazon with a coupon. First up, build quality. These are a lot nicer than I expected for the price. Very little flex when you're trying to twist and bend it. The stabilizers also come pre-lubed and do not rattle at all. Again, very impressive for a keyboard in this price range. The standard model features an ice blue backlighting, and both models have several lighting modes. The modifiers on the standard version are laser etched and the alphas appear to be screen printed or die subbed, I can't really tell. Though these keycaps do feel slightly thicker and have a slightly different sound than the shine through keycaps of the RGB model. Here's a sound test. This also features MX style switches, which means you can swap out the keycaps for just about anything your heart desires to make it your own custom board. Let's see what we can get for under $35 on Amazon. Now why is the title of this video Best Budget Keyboard for Office and Gaming? Because of this. Most corporate or enterprise environments either don't have Bluetooth or it's blocked off and restricted by the security teams. This dongle allows the keyboard to be plug and play and read by any computer as a standard USB keyboard. 
This layout also allows for more space on your desk and for your arms to be closer together when using the mouse and keyboard, which is much better for your body ergonomically. Personally, I would also have no problem gaming on a 2.4 GHz dongle as the technology has come a long way and offers very low latency in comparison to Bluetooth. This also gives you a ton of more space to use your mouse while gaming if you really don't want to give up that numpad. And again, it brings your arms a little bit closer, which is better for your body. I've been using this for the past week at work and at home, and I gotta say, I really, really like this keyboard. It's nice and stiff. It's got all of the features, Bluetooth, the wireless dongle, wired with a USB hub. I really think at the $80 price point that it can be had for, it makes a great starter board for anybody that wants to get into custom mechanical keyboards and allows you to really make it your own via different switches, keycaps, connection types, and everything. Speaking of connection types, it can connect to just about any device with five different Bluetooth connections as well as that wireless dongle. And uh, if you want to hook it up wired, you can take advantage of that USB hub. Now, the only gripes that I really have is that uh, this USB hub here, it is USB 2.0 and the space is kind of cramped. And once you get the cable in here, it doesn't leave a lot of room. It'll work for other wireless dongles or a few USB drives, but not all of them will fit. Also, my, uh, my standard model came with a loose battery. But the box did have a pretty big gouge in it, and so I won't really fault uh, RK for this as it's most likely mishandling and shipping or storage. The Amazon box that it was in shipped to me was fine, but the bottom of the box, it's over there somewhere still, has a big gouge in it. And no, it's not for me throwing it earlier in the video. That was the other box that I threw. If you're looking to get into custom mechanical keyboards and don't want to give up that numpad, or you don't have anything in this size range, which I didn't, um, I think it's a great pickup. This is going to be my new daily driver at work, and I can't tell you how much in the last couple of years I've actually missed my number pad and that right enter key. So anyways, if you enjoyed this review, let me know by going ahead and giving it a thumbs up. And if you thought it sucked, give it that thumbs down. Also, don't forget to let us know what you think in the comments down below. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Until next time, Game Club out.